Hey, 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 how's it going, guys? And welcome back to another episode, to another cooking live stream. Um, I'm hoping, I'm guessing that we're streaming, that we're coming in live. Not quite sure. Um, let me do a quick little checkup. I apologize. Not only for the late start today, had a crazy day today. We'll talk about that in a second. But also, um, you know, for me to check on, make sure everything is okay and hunky dory on this end. Uh, seems. You know, like we're coming in. Seems like uh, so far so good. But I wanna just double check. But anyways, guys, yeah, today we're gonna have a very easy meal. I'm so glad, you know, that I got a very easy meal today. I'm really super glad that I got a really easy meal today because, you know, again, I had such a day today already. And uh, man, it's a miracle, you know what I mean, that we're here. So I just wanna make sure, okay, yeah, all right. Seems like we're we're here, we're, we're... Let me see. Seems like what's working so far so good. Oh, okay. There's one thing I wanted to fix there. See if we can fix that there. There we go. Hey, Regina. How's it going, Opie? How's everybody doing out there? Better late than never, right? Yeah, thanks. Thanks on the lights, you know. Merry Merry Christmas to all. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure this out real quick here. There we go. Okay, we got that. We got this. We got some avocados. There is the avocado cam. Oh, we got the webcam that was covered. All right. Perfect. Okay, we're coming in. Perfect. Perfect. Sounds good. This is what I'm talking about. So yeah, shout out to everyone out there. We got a bunch of you guys hanging, hanging uh, out with us today. So again. Let, let's get started guys again. I really really apologize for this, you know Always bumpy start eventually. We're gonna get this on point um, But anyways today we're making some chicken fajitas some chicken fajitas actually not chicken fajitas I'm sorry chicken quesadillas. We're making some really simple chicken quesadillas and then we're also gonna be making uh, some uh, some guacamole we're gonna make some refried beans and then we're gonna make the simplest dessert ever. We're just making a, a Mexican fruit salad, okay? So hopefully we can do all this within an hour, you know what I mean? Basically, that's, I mean, I got an hour of light. I got about an hour of light time, you know, of uh, daytime left, you know, for me to finish and I mean, do this and finish it. So I think uh, we're gonna just get started and uh, not waste too much more time. So, yeah, so today I had a really rough start. I was outside doing a bunch of yard work and uh, yeah, long story short, I'll tell you about the story in a minute, but yeah, long story short, I, I fell and I busted my ass, all right? And uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like my butt hurts. Not only does my butt hurt, but my head hurts. I hit my head. I got like a big bump in the back of my head. Thank God I'm here, we're live. You know what I mean? We're doing things, you know, nothing crazy, nothing major. But uh, yeah, you know, that definitely put a big uh, hamper on the day as I was uh, dealing with that. And now we got to deal with Gizmo. One second. Gizmo! Hey! So, all right guys, let's get started, right? So the first thing we're gonna be doing today is uh, basically, the first thing we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna get some uh, the chicken, all right, and uh, we're gonna just start marinating that chicken. So look guys today is a very very super crazy simple meal Okay, like I said chicken quesadillas some refried beans, okay some guacamole and uh, and, and the fruit salad, okay, and a lot of these things, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm basically talking more than what I need to be Let's uh, get to cooking, okay? So, you know, we got all the ingredients here, so we got some Cilantro, okay? Alright, we're good. 
Man, I almost freaked out for a minute there. I almost, I, I just thought, I was like, oh my God, where's the cheese? I'm like, fuck, I can't believe I'm gonna do chicken quesadillas with no cheese. But yeah, we got cheese. We got plenty. Get out of here, Gizmo. Just wanna make sure if you guys are still awake over there. Sorry, all right. So we got we got a lot to do. We're, we're gonna hurry this up, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I gotta wash my hands as a matter of fact. Let's let's do that and then uh, let's switch over to the three camera angle here. Bam. Um, Lucifer, did I get it on video? I did not get it on video, unfortunately. Um, that was one thing that was really going through my mind because I, okay, so I I hurt my left butt cheek and I hit the back of my head on the right side. So you can imagine. You can imagine the fall and the twist and the turns and everything, you know what I mean? For me to fucking fall on my left and hit my head on the right. Okay, and so basically, I mean, there was, uh, we got a palm tree behind the house and a big pond frond fell. And um, I was just basically, the pond frond, by the way, is bigger than this whole kitchen, literally literally bigger than the kitchen and i had to spend um a, you know a good majority of the afternoon like him you know hacking and breaking it with a machete and just doing all kinds of things and so you know just like when you're breaking branches and doing things like that i was jumping you know like a dumbass on top of the the branches you know what i mean and it was just kind of like bouncy bouncing and one of those i i slipped as i was bouncing so I, like i bounced like i was bouncing and then i slipped and then it was just like a you know what i mean like Rah! yeah so that happened <laughs> and man you know what i mean like a uh, fucking uh, christian tashi taro i mean i bounced back up immediately but yeah you know immediately as soon as i fell christian was outside working with me and she was just rushing she's like oh my god i thought you died you know what i mean that's that's how bad the hit hurt. You know, again, thank God I play football and my head is literally like uh, concrete. And I think what I did is I dented the concrete more than anything else. My head's fine, obviously. In fact, I hurt more my butt than my head. Go figure, right? Anyway, so definitely got a hard head. All right, figuratively and literally. Anyways, okay. So let's get to, okay, so. Well, today's a super duper, super quick, easy meal. I was already planning this ahead of time that it was gonna be a, a quick and easy meal. Um, but I, um, you know, again, I wasn't expecting today to happen and then bam, you know what I mean? We got a, a day like today, which was uh, lends itself well to um, what we're doing today. So, okay. So we're gonna use a red onion for this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get everything ready. The last, look, the last thing we do is cook the chicken, but in the meantime, we can marinate the chicken. A marinade doesn't have to be overnight. It doesn't have to be whatever. Um, in fact, in the case of what we're doing now, um, as you guys can see, um, we're using chicken, obviously chicken quesadillas. So we want the, hey, let me cut this ahead now. So we want um, the marinade to be on there for just, just enough of a time to, you know, to let it, you know, sink in to the meat but not too long where it's going to cook the meat because the lime juice will cook the meat and again there's nothing wrong with over marinating something like uh okay hold on i'm just peeling this onion over here there's nothing wrong with uh you know doing something like that like over marinating Yo, you know uh anyways yeah you know there's nothing wrong with like over marinating um, your chicken, but in this case, I don't want to over marinate it because it's, it's gonna taste like too much lime juice. Just straight up lime juice. And today, nothing is on my side. I mean, I can't even peel this onion for crying out loud. Oh no. Jesus. It's like the, the peel does not want to come off this onion. Oh, eventually it will, you know. All right. Let's do this one over here. So, so I'm using a red onion because we're gonna use this red onion for the guacamole. And so I'll use, you know, some of the red onion also to marinate the chicken 
to give it extra flavor and and uh and all that good stuff so one second let me oh my god and you swear like this is like my first time in the kitchen huh i guess i must have hit my head a little harder than i thought wank 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 By the way, no concussion protocols were followed, okay? <laughs> Anyone that watches football, no no concussion protocols were followed, okay? After I busted my ass. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, the kitchen, yeah, the kitchen's looking better and better every day. Oh, I forgot, hold on. Look at that, now, now, now we're cooking, now we're cooking. All right, okay, so let's get started. So the chicken, what, what chicken am I using? I'm using some chicken tenders, literally, okay? So out here in Mexico, you know, they just throw these, they don't throw them out, but you know, this was really, really cheap. So I was able to get a bunch of chicken tenders, okay? Real chicken tenders. Cause you know, when you get the chicken breast and it has like that little tender, that's the chicken tender. But anyways, it's like the tenderloin, you know, to like for meat. So anywho, that is what we're gonna be using here, okay? We're using those uh, tenderloins because that's what we had available and um, it's perfect. Okay, I hear the garbage. Let me go take out the garbage, one second. Because in my backyard, like I said, there's a, ba there's a humongous palm tree. You know, the palm tree is like, I want to say like four stories tall, five stories tall. And uh, when one of those palm fronds fall, I mean, that thing is so huge. Like I said, it's, it, it's the size of this kitchen. And so I had to like break that down. I mean, whatever, I already told you the story. But anyways, uh, so that's like, that filled a bunch of the bags. The other bags were, you know, uh, Gizmo's poop. What? <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to marinate this simply, quickly. Um, it's only taken us like half an hour to just um, get these two ingredients out. Okay. So very simply. Okay. Just some chicken tenders. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Okay. I just want to make sure you have this. I just defrosted them and that's it. I haven't had no time to make sure. Okay. So we did wash these already. I remember. We got some limes with no juice. But guys, today is pure entertainment. All day. I mean, again, look at look at lime with no juice, bro. What is this, man? The fuck it, bro. No luck today with anything. Hopefully, hopefully these, uh, hopefully this quesadillas come out good. Jesus, bro. What, what the f worst, stingiest limes ever? All right, this one has some juice in it. Okay, so we're gonna just marinate the chicken. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is just marinate the chicken and just put it to the side and then last, you know, the last thing we're gonna do is cook this thing, okay? And then chop it up, again, you know, cook it, chop it up, and then add it inside the fajita, inside the quesadilla, okay? Thank God I got like a gazillion limes, I gotta live out here. But yeah, look at this, look at this, look at this lime. Look, no juice. Look at this, what the fuck is, bro, what, why? What an excuse for, we got a little juice in there, but what a sorry excuse for a line. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna chop up. You know, again, the, the marinade on this is, is very simple. You know, we're gonna add a little onion in there as well. So three, about three limes. Two to three limes. All 
Okay. Mm. About two to three limes of juice in there. And um, we're gonna just, you know, add some salt, pepper, just very basic. But this marinade is gonna start penetrating In fact, let's add a, let's, let's go crazy. Let me, I got a little cilantro over here. All right, hold on, give me one second. I'm, I'm off screen, I'm right. See, that's the thing that sucks about the three camera angle is that it's hard to see when I'm over here in the keychain. I mean, over here in this, by the sink. So yeah, I'm just getting a little cilantro and washing it really quickly. Because I want to add that to this, this marinade here. chop a little cilantro i know some people don't like cilantro i i i like cilantro i don't love it per se you know it's not like my favorite thing in the world but it tastes good nothing wrong with it i don't hate it it has its place right all right i'm gonna wash uh no that's it let me put this over here yeah i'm like a little bit of a like scattered because I, I I had to set up the, the studio in the kitchen like super quick and just go live and I didn't even get to do any sound check. I'm 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 fucking amazed that I even um that I already got everything so on point where it's um it doesn't take me that long to do the preset up. Okay, so let's just do a little pepper in there in the marinade. Let's do some salt. Nice good amount of salt. So yeah, we're gonna mix that up in a second. We got some salt. I wanted to add. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. So again, this is gonna be, you know, form a strong. Oh my god. This <laughs> This did the opposite of everything of what I wanted to do. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. You know what? I got some pre-chopped garlic for next time. That's what I got. Because I don't I don't need that much garlic. So Yeah, because I wanted to add a little garlic to this. But not too much. Dry ass lemons, yeah, you said it. Okay, so a little garlic in there. Okay, add a little onion. Too much. Okay, leave it like that. Okay. And some oregano. Nothing crazy. So again, salt, pepper, oregano, cilantro, onion, garlic. That's it. Simple. Okay. Oh, we got shotgun news in the house. Hey, brother, man, you already see how late I'm cooking today. All right, I will try my very hardest to be on time. I think we'll be on time for the for the for the podcast, but 
I already had a full of a day. Um, well, t- I'll talk. I'll, I'll tell you the full. Well, I think I already told you. Some of you guys already know kind of the story. What happened to me earlier? Um, but we'll talk about it again on the podcast. So remember, we got the podcast coming up in a little bit. But thank God we're making an easy meal today. So we're just going to add a little bit more lemon in here. So yeah, that lemon is really going to help with the flavor. And that's it. I mean, basically, we're just going to marinate this um, for as long as it takes us to finish the rest of the meal. Because remember, the last thing we do, remember, the, 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 the quesadillas are super crazy easy. So basically, later on, what we're going to do is just cook the chicken, chop it up, and immediately place it inside the quesadilla. And then that... You know that fresh, warm, hot chicken is gonna help melt that chicken and melt the cheese, and um, and then that way the quesadillas are you know again they come out perfect as well. Okay, so I am gonna put this back in the fridge real quick. All right. Gonna clean this mess up real quick here. But yeah, shout out to everyone out there. We out here doing things. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this GoPro is amazing for reals. Um, you're asking me if if uh, oregano is different. You know what I mean? Like American oregano to Mexican oregano to other oregano. Yeah, yeah, they're all very different. In fact, I'll show you in a second. But. Um, what I was just using is American oregano, and you saw, it's just basic, you know? But then, as you guys can see, this here. Hold on. See, this is Mexican oregano. You see, it's like leafy and different. So, yeah, for sure, Mexican oregano is different, okay? A different flavor, different everything. Um... But again, and, and what I wanted to do here, I wanted to just have a little simple seasoning. I didn't want to add those leaves because, again, it's, it just wouldn't go well here. Okay, so now I want to just clean this up real quick. This huge mess that I made. Just trying to get all that going. So messy. Messy boy. Such a messy boy. Okay, let me just clean this mess up real quick. Okay. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying your week. Hope you guys are enjoying your Christmas so far. And all that good stuff. So, yeah, okay, the rest of this is going to be super easy. Super easy, all right? Let's get this going. So, Again, this is something that you guys can do at home, okay? Very easily. Again, you get whatever chicken is on special, all right? As you guys saw, I had some chicken tenders on special. It's going to be perfect for what we're making here. So, again, we got those marinating, simple marinade. Uh, The next thing that we're going to do is um, the refried beans. But the refried beans... Again, we're making, you know, we're making life easy on us, okay? A typical Mexican isn't going to make, you know, refried beans. You could. Nothing wrong with that. We could make that. But most of us, we buy refried beans either in a can or and here in Mexico, they sell them in like a pouch, okay? So, you know, we just opened this yesterday. Basically, that's it. We got refried beans right here. That's it. And so what we do is that we just make them 
you know, just like when we've done other things here, we just add a little extra mm, flavor to it. But it's very simple, okay? So, I mean, really, I don't gotta do much here. I'm just really gonna just empty this into the pan. That's it. And, uh, and then we'll get to it when we get to it, okay? But this is super duper simple. So let's just put this in the pan and just let it just kind of like sit back here so we don't forget it, okay? And so since, you know, these beans, they get eaten a lot here, you know, they sell them in these like little convenient little packages. You know, I sell them in these like little convenient packages as you guys can see here. And um, you just open it and get as much as you need out and that's it. Um, here we're gonna take the whole thing out because you know, we're gonna eat it. Because you know, it's, we're making, again, this is part of the main dish. Now, a lot of you guys are like, oh, can you make some Mexican rice or something like that? I mean, yeah, I guess, you know what I mean? But like, it's not, it's, you know, not, it's not a typical thing per se, you follow? Beans are definitely typical. Tortillas are typical, you know what I mean, of Mexican food. Now again, remember guys, I am not Mexican, okay? I just happen to speak Spanish. I am actually Cuban, all right? So very different. I know a lot of you guys know, but some of you don't. Um, this is a bunch of new viewers and a bunch of everyone out there. So, okay, so now we're just, we got the, okay, remember, super easy meal today. Quesadillas, okay? Um, and again, once, you know, they marinate a little bit, once we get the chicken marinating a little bit, we're just gonna chop it up. And then just, you know, we're gonna use the big mama jama pan here. I'm gonna bring that down. Okay, we're gonna use big, big, uh, big Bertha. All right. That's what I like to call it. All right. So we got big Bertha, and uh, we're gonna use big Bertha um, to make the quesadillas. In fact, let me make sure because look, I got the, see, look, super tortillon. Okay, so this is super giant tortillas okay the size of look but how big let me see they're bigger than my head just about so these things are bigger than my head who would have thought right my head's already so big but anyways and then these tortillas let us make sure that they fit they barely fit look at that look how big these things are they barely fit in here okay but since you know we are making quesadillas again this is perfect because we just flip it over, okay? Well, you'll see, you'll see, okay? So let's uh, put those suckers over there. Okay, so we got that, we got that going, and we're gonna use the wok, since this is the thing that's gonna hold the most heat um, and uh, all that, to cook the chicken, okay? So now, again, let's, uh, let's move on to um, making the guacamole, all right? We're gonna put the guacamole to the side, and then we're gonna make um, the dessert, okay? Which is very easy as well. Right, let me get the dessert ingredients out. Okay. We got the dessert ingredients. So dessert is, again, super crazy simple as well. I'm just gonna find the ingredients. Here. Got it. I think we got it. I think so. I think so. I think so. Okay. I think so. Oh my god. Somebody left a comment on my video today saying that um, I don't know how to speak English and I don't know how to speak Spanish. I'm like, really? You figured that out now, bro? You know what I mean? Like, really? I could have told you that. So anyways. What's up, everybody out there? Yeah, sorry, I was just reading all the comments. Yeah, shout out to everybody. You know, I really would love to, and I would prefer to do these live streams later at night, but again, it's not as easy as uh, you would think. That's why I do them earlier in the day. But at the end of the day, I could have very easily said, I'm not gonna make dinner today and just ordered a pizza, but I was like, no, you know what I mean? I had all of you guys out there expecting and waiting for me to make something yummy. And uh, 
I wanted something yummy, and um, so we're here making something yummy. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is chop these suckers in half. Let me show you a little trick. How do you know if it's ripe or not? By the way, these are the last three avocados I had. I hope to God that they're not overripe. They look perfect. They look just about, but anyways, here, a tip, okay? Here's a little tip on how to find out um, how to get the ripe avocado. So as you guys can see on the screen, we got the avocado there. Can you, can you fuck us, please? Thank you. Okay, so we got the avocado there. And you see that little thing, the little tip there? So basically what you're gonna do is, is uh, push this in. Okay, and if it, okay, so this is a little, yeah, it took a little bit. Okay, yeah, there you go. You push it in. Okay, you see? And if, it, if it's soft and it just goes right in, here, we're gonna do it with a, this one already fell off. Look at this again. You see this right here? Ooh, it just rolls right in. It just went right in nice and young. It barely had to touch it. So that is how you know it's right. Instead of like squeezing and squeezing and fucking up the avocados, um, basically all you gotta do is just touch this little thing here. And if, it, if it's still firm and is not moving, it's still not ripe enough. But if it just goes, boop, it pops in, perfect ripeness for, uh, you know, perfect ripeness for avocado, for guacamole, okay, or whatever. Or perfect ripeness for avocado toast or whatever the hell you're eating. So let's t put that to the test, okay? So let's open these guys up real quick and see if this is true. Supposedly these are all ripe and ready to go. According to my taste test, look at that. Bam, one. Okay, let's try the other one. All right, so you learn another little tip today. You know, I feel, I do feel a little weird, you know, because I did hit my head pretty fucking hard a little while ago. But at the same time, it's like, man, I feel like I'm pretty on point too. We might have a really good podcast today. So, again, sometimes you just need some sense knocked into you, man. You know, like it or not, no matter who you are. Definitely got some sense knocked into me today. Okay, and by the way, then once you cut it along the thing like that, then you just twist it around like that, and bam, look at that. These are all perfect. Perfect avocados, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna move it down here so you guys can get a better view. All right, get the three camera angle going. All right. So I'm gonna get, we got three cameras going here. So hold on, let me get the third camera going too. Okay, so we got the avocado. So again, you know, we got the avocado here. Another, another tip to get the seed out. Okay, very easy, okay, pops right out. Okay. Twist it, okay? So again, you just go. Just as I planned it, okay? <laughs> All right, so we got that. And then, you know, we're gonna just get um, a spoon. Spoon! Spoon! Okay, we get a spoon. And we're just gonna empty these guys in. Okay, hold on, let me fix the GoPro here. Okay, so we got the guacamole cam there. I think you guys can see, right? Okay, we got the guacamole cam. We got the cutting board cam. Right, there we go. And we got the regular cam. So we got camera one, camera two, camera three, I think, right? Okay, so then you just get, you know, um, with the with the spoon, okay? And just very easily just pop it out. Pop it out. That's it. Sometimes. You saw, okay, you guys can see there with the camera. Okay, sometimes you got like a little piece of hard whatever there, so you gotta get that out. Okay. Just 
scoop these guys out. And again, these are, you know, perfectly ripe. You guys can see nice and soft. So again, by the way, so today's guacamole recipe has been brought to you by the guacamole kings at guacamole. Okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, no. Uh, so you know, today is just my recipe. Okay, you can make your recipe however you want. Okay, there's no right or wrong guacamole per se. So, but let's uh, let's start mixing this together. I think I'm gonna use this. Okay. And it's okay, there's some brown in there. It's not gonna kill you. Trust me, guys. Okay, we're too, you get too baby in the US. Oh, I need it. Now, look, this one was a little hard. We got one that was a little hard. Whatever, but it's still fine. That's what she said. All right, work, work. I still, you see, as long as you can smash it, it's fine. You know, it's okay if some are a little firm. But what we are going to do is just, we're trying to mash it together and get this going. So we can add the lime juice. We don't want it to brown. But yeah, these are the perfect firmness for avocado toast. <laughs> whatever it's funny i tell christian about things like avocado toast and she's like bro <laughs> she, she goes <laughs> that's what i said i'm mexican when they hear about avocado toast <laughs> or some stupid shit like that okay now we're gonna continue mashing it with this And again, I like it chunky, you know what I mean? I don't like it, I'm just smashing it. As much as I need to, ah! <laughs> Good thing this camera is uh, waterproof, huh? Good thing this camera is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> guacamole proof <laughs> yeah hold on I just want to make sure I don't turn off the stream by mistake like a dumbass okay what does it turn off hey, the camera's falling the guacamole here guys okay so let me get another line real quick but yeah you guys already know the rules as long as it tastes good everything else is arbitrary so yeah, I wanna get the, the avocado mixture going first and then we're gonna jump on to the rest there. So I like my I like my uh my guacamole extra lime limey because it, it also helps as well to keep it from browning. Again, more uh <laughs> more limes without juice. I mean it is that time of the year, guys. I mean it is winter. So you know, citrus is not really going to grow that well in uh, wintry conditions. So. Yeah, because remember, um, citrus is mostly, you know, citrus is mostly um, uh, liquid. 
And so um, obviously if it gets close to a freezing point or gets to like really, really cold temperatures, I mean, it just really, it kills and destroys the fruit, you know? So um, unfortunately, so that, that's, the, that's the thing with, uh, <clears throat> so when, when you're living in a climate, I mean, when, so all of a sudden when it gets to like a cold winter, like what we're having now, because it's pretty cold. It's a little colder than usual here. From what I understand, it gets a little colder than usual. And so with that being said, um, then yeah, you know what I mean? It, it messes with the citrus crop. Because again, I come from Florida and every time we had a little bit of a, a little bit of a cold snap, you know what I mean? All the citrus farmers were always taking a dump. You're like, oh my God. You know what I mean? We're, okay, so we're gonna add a tomato. Okay, as you guys can see, all right, we're just gonna chop up a tomato. Okay, get all those juices from the tomato. Okay, all that is good. So just chop it up. Chop, 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 chop it up. But yeah, all that juice from the tomatoes, we're gonna put in and everything. I don't I don't throw away any of the juice from tomatoes ever. Uh, some people like to de-seed and de-juice. I don't know why. I mean, that's flavor there. That's pure, I mean, that's the tomato flavor, the essence, the juice. You know, the rest is just like the skin. But anyways, so as you guys can see there, we just did a little rough chop. Okay, so we're gonna add that. All right, juice, juice and all. Okay, now we're gonna add, let's start with this half a red onion. I think this might be plenty. But yeah, so we're just gonna do a nice little dice on this. So we do want this a little smaller. I want a little bit of bite. So again, I'm using the red onion because again, for pretty obvious reasons of like, oh, it looks nicer, you know what I mean? If I were to use the white onion, the, the white onion gets lost. You know, the, the, the white onion will get lost in the sea of green, um, but the red onion, just like the red tomato, um, pops, you know, and um, it makes it for a nicer, more look, you know, nicer looking presentation. Follow. So get that red onion in there. Okay. So again, very simple. All right. And now we need some cilantro. I'm gonna come over and washing the cilantro we have over here. Nice, nice healthy amount of cilantro. I mean, is it guacamole? You know what I mean? Is it even guacamole if you don't add some cilantro, right? I was doing a quick little wash over here, just picking some of the green, nice leaves.
All right. How you guys doing over there? Oh, by the way, yeah, someone uh, was it? Yeah, there's no, there's no Monday, no more Monday motivations because I used to do Monday motivations on a regular basis. I'm not doing Monday motivations anymore. I'm just dropping regular content. In fact, I should be going live tomorrow. Okay, I should be going live tomorrow. I'm, I mean, I will be going live tomorrow on my regular channel. Okay, but no, yeah, no more Monday motivation. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just, I'll do Monday motivation. I'll do Monday motivation on throughout my videos. I just do motivational stuff throughout my videos, you know, because yeah, man, at the end of the day, those Monday motivations weren't really helping my channel at all. If anything, they were, you know, help, you know, my, it was just not helping my channel. It was doing the opposite to my channel. If you follow me, so I was like, man, you know what? I gotta cut my losses. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, yeah, I want to keep making them, but I don't want to keep making content that's just going to make my channel sink further, you know what I mean? Instead of making content, I mean, and I, it's not like I, I wasn't really a big fan of making Monday Motivation anyway. And I have enough Monday Motivation now, literally, you know, um, for over a year, because I, I did it for over a year. So I have like, I think 60, maybe more, but like at least I know I have like around 60. Uh, Monday motivation. So I mean, I basically have you know enough for you to watch a new one every day of the year. Okay. So because I know a lot of a lot of guys, a lot of people are telling me, hey, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. But it's just not really working, man. You know, unfortunately. And plus, I do so much more content already, so much more whatever. It's like I'd rather be doing these things than that. This is the reality of it, you know? So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint. I know a lot of people like those Monday motivations, but... Okay, so... We also need to add salt. I did not add any salt to this yet. So we got a nice, nice amount of salt. I always put salt and things like that in my hand first. Man. I put those things in my hand first so I can, you know, know how much I'm putting in. And also, if I put a little bit too much, I can take some out. I got fucking guacamole in room. Very easy meal today. Just very, uh, a little messy. I got shit everywhere. Okay. Oh, yeah, and a little pepper. A little salt, a little pepper. We got cilantro, onion, tomato, lime. I was thinking about adding a little bit of garlic in there, but I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. But anyway, shout out to everyone out there. So we got some nice guacamole. So let me taste it. Let me get a little taste test there. Definitely needs more salt. I, 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 you know, I just realized I didn't even, I barely even, I didn't even have time to smoke today. I got smoked, but that's it. And definitely needs a little bit more, like a hefty, nice amount of salt. We get the salt in there. Definitely need a lot more lime. So.
Can we have more lime in there? And then that's, you know, honestly, to make guacamole, it's, you gotta like, make it to your liking. I mean, that's it. So this, this guacamole is already pretty on point. It just needs a little bit, you know, need some more salt and some more acid. I don't want to go too overboard. So yeah, I don't want to go too overboard with the guacamole. So let's give it another taste. You know, with the lime juice and the salt and all that, slowly but surely, we'll win you the race, right? Mm, pretty good. You know what? Needs a little bit more lime juice. A little bit more salt. And I think I'm going to add that garlic in there. I think I'm gonna add that little bit of garlic. <sighs> Let me add a little head of garlic in there. Yeah, because I want a little bit of that. I want some bite. I want a little bite, a little shark to go with that. So we're just adding a little garlic to this. So we add some more lime. salt we're just mincing one garlic clove in there okay so we're gonna mix all that up in there Nice little mix. Oh, by the way, guys, so Christmas and New Year's is on Thursday. Spoiler, I'm not gonna be around. All right, here, so let me, let me. We're, we got, parties festivities to get to so you know again you know we're gonna be doing that we're gonna be doing the family thing and all that stuff so yeah there we go mm, 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 mm. perfect right. in fact you know what i will i'm gonna add a little bit more lime juice and a little bit more salt Just a little bit. But yeah, we're, we got it. Get some killer guacamole. 
nice and smooth and chunky and delicious. Taste it one last time. Okay, now, now it's perfect. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Bing, 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 winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. So now, now let me clean my glasses real quick here. But yeah, shout out to everyone out there watching, hanging out on Thursday night. Hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season already. Hope you guys are enjoying your, your everything. Okay. So we're gonna dump, we're gonna put this in here. Okay, um, now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you another little secret on how to make sure to keep your guacamole from turning brown. You put some plastic wrap over it. You know like that little trick you do with maybe like a vanilla pudding or whatever? Anyway, so what you do is that you get the plastic wrap and you put it over it, but you 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 press it up against, okay? You press it up against the guacamole. So you make sure that the plastic wrap, you see how that's there? There you go. The plastic wrap touches the guacamole, okay? You see? Ta-da. And once you do that like that, as you guys can see there in the GoPro, all right? Then you cover it, okay? And what this does is that it creates a barrier. You know what I mean? Basically now there's no air that can get in there. What turns the guacamole brown is air. So if you eliminate that by, you know, putting that uh, that barrier there, then you don't got to worry about it. Okay, so that's it. We got the guacamole made. We got the chicken marinating. So let's move on to that step now. All right, let's get on to cooking that chicken. Okay, let me clean up real quick here. Okay, in fact, I mean, Okay, so we're gonna start heating this up. Start heating up the beans as well. Put this on low. Okay. Clean up real quick. So shout out to everyone out there. Get that chicken out. So now we're gonna start making the fruit salad, okay?
Okay, so we got the pan over here, nice and screeching hot. Okay, and basically that's it. We're just, we're just dumping all that in there. That's it. Nothing crazy because, you know, we're gonna cook it and then we'll wind up frying it, okay? It's gonna end up uh, cooking further. And then we'll add, uh, you know, we'll add uh, so much, what do you call it? We'll add oil and we'll add a bunch of things in a second. But you see how the chicken is already kind of like white? Again, you can see that's the lemon juice and all that that's already penetrating and doing its thing. So, let's uh, cover this guy. Okay, we got these beans back here. Doing their thing, slowly but surely. Okay. In the meantime, let's get, let's start getting the fruit salad ready. So this is Mexican fruit salad, okay? That's it. So what are the ingredients to the Mexican fruit salad? Canned fruit, okay? So just a canned of fruit cocktail. Ah, oh my God, it's spilled some salt, right? Yes, I spilled all this salt on the floor. Oh my God. All right, some condensed milk and some crema. Perfect, all right, we got crema, okay. We got cream. So let's, uh, let's simply, and then we, you know, some nuts and, um, let me see, do I have In one second. Oh no! Bad timing on the on the GoPro. No, I don't like jalapenos. I mean, uh, not in that anyway. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm trying to dry off the GoPro here. Work on that in a second. Anyways, alright, so we're just gonna stay on this camera for now. Alright. Like I'm trying to like I don't know if these apples are still any good or not. Yeah, alright. We'll use them.
So yeah, I'm just uh, doing the refried beans real quick. Just mixing them up. Make sure they don't burn or anything like that. Right, we're just gonna heat them through and then we're just gonna add a little bit of like cheese or something to it. We got the chicken cooking back here. Okay, so now some of that liquid came off. Sorry, I gotta get that GoPro back on. One second. Okay, so we're in 5.30, my time. Come on. I'm gonna take my Santa hat, my hat for a minute off. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your hats. All right, we're just trying to connect the GoPro. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep cutting this apple here. So, yeah, again, you know, when we're making uh, this little um, fruit salad, okay? This Mexican, you know, fruit salad here. Um, we use whatever it's around, whether it's apples or pears or some sort of fruit, okay? That you can kind of like add to this that'll give it a little extra oomph. But basically, we made this before, but it's just fruit cocktail, okay? With a little bit of uh, crema, all right? Mexican cream, some condensed milk and um nuts and cherries and we got some blueberries you know dried blueberries and and all that shit so let me uh let me open this real quick Give a little bit of that liquid. So again, we just add the fruit salad in there. chopping up these apples okay while I get the GoPro connected here yeah I just wanted to get the fruit out because the apples are also gonna turn brown but if I put them in that syrup you know that's uh with the fruit it won't turn immediately. That syrup will help 
keep them from turning brown right off the bat. So anyways, just chopping these up. So we got some nuts. There's just some pecans I got left over. Just chop them up. Kind of rough. Just so you don't have like those big chunks in there. That's it. Chop those up, add those in there. You can add, you know, um, if you got raisins, craisins, blueberries, whatever you got, add some. Okay, so we're just gonna add some of those in there. Okay, now we're gonna add some of the juice, a little bit of the juice from the from the cherries, just for flavor, for color. But yeah, basically, we're just gonna add them in there as is. Okay, we just gotta take the stem off. That's it. This is like the simplest dessert, but it's really good. It's one of my favorite desserts, actually. One of my favorite, and this is a dessert I just learned of a little while ago. I think uh, Christian's grandma made it for me. Okay. Yeah, we're going in super speed today. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Well, I'm burning or messing anything up. I'll do the dishes later. Okay, so the beans are already refried. So I'm gonna just turn this on for a minute. The chicken. It's doing its thing. There's a lot of liquid in there. We're gonna make sure there's no liquid in there. Okay. So it's starting to fry up. And finally we got the GoPro back on. Yeah, those are like Mexican apples. So let me let me show you the chicken. You see how the chicken is coming along over here? So remember, we want these to be nice and brown. So they're going to be a little bit, they're going to cook for a little longer. Okay. And then we come back over here. Okay. So Okay, so yeah, oh sorry, I thought I had the other camera on, my bad. Anyways, all right, no matter, we're gonna back, come back to this camera. So as you guys can see, we got like two little apples, so either one big apple, one can of, uh, of uh, fruit, half a little jar of 
Okay, half a, blow, a little jar. Hey, this is not gonna work. Okay, half a little jar of uh, cherries. Yeah, okay, we'll have them to all a little. Man, I see, look, this is why I always wash my dishes as I go. All my dishes are. are all my. I, I, hate, I hate working like this. Anyways, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. Today's a speed run. Okay. So we got one big apple in there, um, some cherries, a can of fruit, fruit cocktail, whatever, some crema, some condensed milk. Very healthy for you guys. All this is super healthy, as you guys can see. All right, we got some blueberries in there. And I know this might look disgusting and horrible, but if you try this, especially if you're from the South, if you eat this and you, you you try this, you will eat this whole thing. You will eat all this like a fat slob because I do it all the time and I get sick from eating too much of this shit. But it's so fucking good. And at first, I, when I first was introduced to this, I never even wanted to try it because I thought, oh no, this is, looks horrible. This looks, there's nothing, nothing about this that I like. It's fruit. It's fruit with some white sauce. What the fuck? But you know, when you actually try it, you're like, oh my God, this is beyond delicious. All right, let me add a little oil to the, to the chicken. See, I'm, 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 work, hold on. I'm working one-handed here. Okay. Okay, you can, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, look at this. One-handed, like a fucking animal. And that's it, I mean, you know, that's the color we want, right? Right. Okay? Now, let's come back over here real quick. I'm not sure if the music is still playing. Hopefully you guys can hear some music or whatever. But yeah, this is it. This the, this dessert is done. And basically, the longer this sits, the better it gets. So. chicken fajita stuff. I mean, chicken quesadilla. Look at that. So that's it. We're going to leave that for a minute. Okay. So anyway, shout out to everyone out there. So I am going to turn this down. Okay. I'm putting this on low. Um, this fruit salad, I need to put away, so let me do that real quick, okay? So again, the fruit salad, the longer it sits, the better it gets, okay? So, so we're making this now, and we got to put this in the fridge, okay? And right now, the sauce, yeah, the right now, the sauce is still pretty soupy. But the reality is that in a little while, the sauce is going to get nice and thick. All right? It's going to thicken up. And man, I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite desserts, okay? So, I know it doesn't look like much, but man, this is so good. But yeah, we just like, now it has to like, kind of like marinate and do its thing. Okay? We can't really do much to it. Just let it do its thing. So, that's it. And then, yeah, we, we, later we just serve it in a little cup and that's it. You might eat it with some cookies. That's it. But this is super easy. Super easy dessert, okay?
Okay, guys, all right. So basically, now I'm just gonna make one quick little quesadilla for you guys, and that's it, all right? So, you know what, I forgot, I gotta also... One second. <laughs> I forgot, I gotta do some cheese. I gotta grate some cheese. Oh my god. Oops, okay. I'm gonna grate some cheese real quick. I'm just gonna put this to the side. I hope you guys are enjoying the show out there. Shout out to everyone. But again, guys, today is a super duper easy. meal okay hopefully the big camera doesn't go out i got a feeling it will okay so that's done I'm just gonna put this cheese here so we can use it in a little bit. Tiene una quesadilla, no, no, dos. Son muy grandes. Sí, bueno, son grandes. Y tiene frijol y guacamole y eso. Tiene dos quesos, ¿no? Quesadilla tiene con dos quesos. Okay, so one second, guys. Give me one second. All right, so I gotta change the camera. I gotta change the battery on the camera real quick. Ooh. Because I don't want the thing to die halfway through. Move, get out of here. una batería grande. Saben, la cosa entera. Please. All right, so let me just change that battery real quick.
We got Christian over there. She's dying. Of, she's freezing her ass off. She says. Not that cool. <laughs> Opie. Opie says that cheese makes me want pears with cheese and mayo on it. Bro, if that's not the whitest thing I've ever heard, I don't know what to tell you, man. Except that is the whitest thing I've ever heard in my life. I thought, you know, I thought eating American cheese on top of, uh, on top of apple pie was bad until I actually tried it. I actually tried melting a piece of American cheese on a slice of apple pie. Oh, wait, no. And it was actually good. I was actually really surprised by that. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm actually gonna just make one for the misses. So we're moving this over here. I'm gonna start heating up the pan. Okay. But in the meantime, I'm bringing you guys over here. All right, and we're just gonna chop this up really quickly. So I'm just gonna chop all this chicken up real quick, all right? So I'm just gonna put it all, again, super easy. So you see the onions and all that? All that just cooked in there. Look, it's nice and yummy and, my God, this chicken looks so good already. And that's it, we're just simply gonna chop it up, okay? This is really, this is really not that hard. Okay. Remember, these are like the little chicken tendies. So, you know, they're super nice and yummy and tender. Look at that. Look at all that yummy chicken goodness, all right? So we're just gonna drop that back in there, okay? That's it. Okay. Put this back here. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to full GoPro real quick. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna make the big tortilla thing here. We got the chicken over there. Again, this is gonna be easy, super easy. Okay, so we got this right here. So I'm actually gonna add a tiny bit of olive oil to the bean. Again, for flavor, you guys already know what we do here. Olive oil is a major flavor enhancer, okay? But not only am I adding, I'm also gonna add Okay, some cheese. And I was gonna add a little Parmesan, but I forgot I don't have any Parmesan. <laughs> Gizmo, get your head out of there. Get out of here, bro. What are you doing? Maybe you guys can see Gizmo there. You guys see Gizmo? Look at him. Get out of here, get out of here. Okay, so we're just gonna melt this together. We got this on low. Okay, so I'm gonna let this kind of like melt. Where are we? But 
I want to make sure this is nice and hot. Okay, we're hot. So... Hmm. And I guess I gotta open... Man, there's no resealable anything on this uh, bag. That sucks. Weird. Yeah, this is a resealable bag. I guess not. Okay, so... So this is the best way to do a giant quesadilla, guys. Okay, basically, you just stick this in here like that, okay? I'm just gonna make one for Christian. Cause that's a lot for her. So yeah, what I'm doing there is I'm warming up one side of the tortilla, okay? Oh yeah, sure, okay, don't worry. You, you, uh, uh, here, you want me? Here, you guys can see him here, right? Gizmo, man. Can you see him? Hey! Give him a little yummy yummy. Hey! There you go, Opie. You don't have to send the tip, bro. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> He's like, uh, uh, Christian was saying, thank you for paying Gizmo to eat some chicken. <laughs> Gizmo's like, yeah, thank you. Okay, so we're, look, I'm flipping it over. Look, you see? Okay. Started doing his thing. So now, what we're going to do here is add the cheese. Okay. Put it on one side, okay? <laughs> so again, remember, you gotta put lots, lots of cheese in there. That's the whole point. Good amount of chicken. Okay, we got a giant quesadilla. And then we just flip this guy over like that. Okay. We got cheesy. Here, let's, uh, where to put it? Cover this up to help it along. Okay. So we flip it. That. Gizmo's uh, so happy. Gizmo's like, where's my more? I want more. So we're gonna start getting the plating ready. Okay. Gizmo. Okay, so we're finishing up on the... Yeah, I was like, I want more! Later, later, bro. I gotta, I gotta eat too, man, you know? <laughs> I gotta eat too, Gizmo. Alright, but, yeah, you know what I mean? That's it. It's pretty easy, guys. So let me start getting the plate ready.
Okay, so bam, we're back over here. All right, so hopefully the lighting is still good. Um, So we're going to start plating this up. I'm moving the camera over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Venga, mochito. Ya estamos, ya. We're almost ready. Okay. So we got the quesadilla right over here. Okay, we got the quesadilla over here, all right. So we're just gonna chop this guy up in half. Look at that cheesy goodness. All right, nice and melty, yummy, yummy. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at all that cheesy, yummy goodness, all right. Look at that. Mmm. That perfection. Okay. Get that cheese. We don't want to waste any of it. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Dinner's ready. I'll wait for her to see how much she wants. Ready? <laughs> um, how much of uh, beans? Yeah. No. Okay, just a little bit of bean. Guacamole cito. She loves guacamole. Mm. Okay. How much? How many do you want? You got a B up there in the roof. Okay. And that's it, guys. I mean, that's very simply a um, nice vagina, a nice uh, quesadilla dinner. All right. So we got some guacamole. All right. We got the uh, the beans with a little cheese and yumminess in there. Uh, and we got the chicken quesadillas. All right. As you guys can see here, let's uh, go full screen. Okay. Look at that. Look at those yummy quesadillas. All right. The guacamole and the beans, and we're good to go. Mexican meal to make her grandma proud. Right? Abuela would make this for you? <laughs> She's like, no. Is it done now? We're just gonna do it. She's gonna try it real quick and that's it. We're gonna cut it. Alright, because we got I got a lot to do. We got the podcast. You good? Yeah? It's fucking she's freezing. I'm hot. Okay, look at her. Aww. Yeah, the cold weather's making her a little depressed. <laughs> she's in there. She's in her room just uh, painting and, and working on all that. So um but yeah, I'm glad it made you feel better. Yeah, which one, yeah, look, she's eating it really quickly, so. Yes, sir. Another one bites the dust. That's right. So, that's right. Um, another another successful meal, huh? He eats ensaladita de fruta, okay? So, see, and I made her a little, you know, the fruit salad, you know, the Mexican fruit salad. And that's it. So, I don't know what else to say, except I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show today. 
Um, I see it says an hour and 45 minutes there of recording time, but you know, this is probably like an hour, hour and a half. It just took me a little extra long because I had other extracurricular activities going on, but you know, about an hour and a half, you know, maybe a little less, hour, hour and a half for this complete meal from scratch. Almost, almost from scratch. And that's it. So, guys, I really, 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 really hope you guys are enjoying the show. I mean, uh, you guys, yeah, enjoying the show, enjoying all the live streams, enjoying uh, today's episode, uh, as uh, crazy and uh, all over the place as it was. Um, I'm glad I was able to, everything happens for a reason. I'm glad I was able to, you know, film at night because I see there's a bunch of you guys out here. You guys were able to make it because usually when I'm filming during the day, you guys are all working or busy. Um, but regardless, you know, I'm glad you guys are all here. I'm glad we all hung out together. And that's it, guys. It's time to get out of here. So you already know the deal. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell like. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Also, I'll see you guys in a couple hours on the podcast at 9 o'clock Eastern. Um, someone asked me what the temperature is. I think it's like 65 degrees. I know. I know. Stop making fun of us. All right. Um, but... <laughs> For her, it's a lot colder than for me. I'm kind of like used to a little bit of cold weather. And I've actually been cooking back here. So, you know, I, I get to keep a little warm. But, you know, it's time for me to clean up and go take a shower and get ready for the podcast and get something to eat. So, guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, glad you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And uh, we'll see you guys on